Do you know what Excuse we me. do between shows? What? We sit here and wait. <laughs> wait for the next 24 I, hours. I just am so... Th- oh, let me scoot up here. Get that. No Victoria, way. quick. What? Welcome to the show. Welcome to another exciting Feel It Real Fun episode. Uh, an episode of Feel It Real Fun. On our 28th of October, 2020. Uh, all right. Anything but Neville Goddard teachings. Yeah, I'll share it there too. So how to easily imagine... Easily making... $80,000 a year or something easily like that. imagine easily making... Easily. All right. Okay. Oh my God, sizzle, yo, triple D, sizzle, triple D, Cassidy. <laughs> hello, you too. Triple D, Look Alice. At that. Triple hello, triple D, Alice. Yes. Oh my God. Pretty soon, there's going to be more civilians dead than there are triple D people alive. <laughs> yeah. Maybe was I didn't that say Alex that. Jones? That's Alex Jones. <laughs> was it? Oh my God, it was. It was. <laughs> Notice that got, that got all factual in a weird way. Like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Cool. So, oh, Maria, Maria uh, Louisa, I haven't seen in you the in a DL. while. Yeah. She just put a comment up on a post. Did she? Yes, she did. Good on you. <laughs> oh, yay. <laughs> Yasmin's here. Cool. Yeah, we ditched her at the market today, right? Yeah. See, we, we, they've changed the rules, and now today. the Maxwells can see people other than the Maxwells. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was funny. The whole thing of like, is it, it's, not, it's not that we can see other people, we can see anyone but the Maxwells. <laughs> but that's the Maxwells saying that, not us. I get that. Yes. You, you made sure Yaz got that just yes. as we were leaving. Yeah, I thought so. Yes. It's, words have power, people. That's Which right. Which brings us to that whole thing. Before we get started, right? Mm. If words had power, wouldn't it be easier to manifest taco- tacos if you if you manifested them speak in Mexican? Right? If you're doing affirmations to manifest tacos, wouldn't you manifest them fa- faster, faster if you were talking Mexican? <laughs> Meanwhile, Victoria? Okay. <coughs> So go to freenevel.com. Boom. That's right. 221 email pseudo random. Do it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> cool. Uh, join our 90 day adventure at manifestingmasterycost.com. 90 d- days of fun experiences, sequential, done in a way that by the end of it, oh my God, half a donut. Or as Rob Begg would say, tell them what they're missing out on. Right? What's it costing you? <laughs> What's it costing you? I yeah. think of the one where the person. Got like a six hundred fifty thousand dollar IRS lien. That's paid for right. Five five hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, it was just right? hundreds. I remember yeah. that one. And it's and it's like, all right. Yeah, do you think MM was worth it? Right. <laughs> At yeah, the end that of the was freaking sweet, day. that one. I yeah. remember that success story. And of course, then we have to always include. You know, results are not typical. You may get fucked up by trying to make your life better, right? <laughs> you may get make your life better by getting fucked up. I don't know, right? But it's all that legal bullshit. Triple do, triple D Joe Weldon. Hello. Triple D Joe Weldon. And, and for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, fillitrealfun.com. Oh, my God. God, it's a fun place to go. I mean, like, there's so much there and so much more is happening now. Like, <laughs> there. <coughs> Two. Excuse me. All right, so, Victoria. Oh, right. So, so, today's is how to easily imagine easily making $80,000 a year. Starting right now. Hmm. All right. Uh-huh. Boom. So, guys, <sighs> once upon a time, hmm. I used to try to talk myself into winning. Right, I make eighty thousand dollars a year every year. This or something better. This or something better. Right, <laughs> better, better, butter. I don't know. It gets confusing, right? Yeah. And then you know, you get a little bit gooder at this, and you start just imagining like counting monies. Right, I'm counting all kinds of monies. Right? <laughs> Let's face it, most people that are making eighty thousand dollars a year or more, they're not counting monies. They're like buying shit. Right. Meanwhile, right. Mm. So this is what I want you to do, Victoria. Yes. Do we have a Neville Goddard quote? I don't know. Oh, yes, we do. We do. All right. There. Okay. So let's start with that. And then we're going to go through some principles that we covered with the uh, four. Remember the four? Yeah. Right? So. <laughs> four mighty ones. That's right. Yeah. Boom. Okay. So Neville's quote is, each time my mind wandered, I bought it back again until I reached the top, turned and holding the side of the ship. I looked back nostalgically at the island of Barbados. There's a lot of hints in that little tiny thing, right? Now, we're going to explore those today with the framework of the Four Mighty Ones and the Neville Goddard coffee game that we made up, 
right? Yeah. Somebody write out 20 made up the coffee game, right? He did, <laughs> right? Why yes. not? Because here's where I want you to start playing, right? We explored this in Triple D. Those who actually get it, got it, and are running with it are doing some really cool shit. Mm. But I want to make sure everybody gets this little foundational bit, and it's this. So you want to make 80 grand a year, yeah? right? Uh, we could talk about peanut butter and stuff like that. But here's what I want you to do. Before you're at your current level of income, there's something you do every morning, like brush your teeth, put on undies, drink coffee. I do the third, right? <laughs> <laughs> that is the first thing you do. Yes. I, the first thing I do, right? I get up, drop the kids off the pool, go make coffee, right? So we could have the, the drop the kids off the pool method, but then that gets a little interesting, right? <laughs> yes. Even though you do have that feeling of relief, the state can sleep. That's true. Right? Pizzle method. The pizzle method. <laughs> but I want you to take something. I want, I want this to be your primary thing. Yo, triple D, sim E, uh-huh. Right? A typical event of your day that you experience before your wish is fulfilled and after your wish is fulfilled. Like, if you drink coffee and you're making 10 grand a year and you want to make 80 grand a year, odds are you're still going to be drinking coffee. Mm right mm. and so this is what i want you to start hinging a lot of things on a typical event of your day you know that you would have both before and after that you would experience differently right mm. so let's take the coffee t method and roll it into my aims chair portable disposable hot tub because this is really cool so victoria yeah before i continue would you read that quote again okay just for fun each time my mind wandered, I brought it back again until I reached the top, turned, and holding the side of the ship, I looked back nostalgically at the island of Barbados. If you've ever walked up a gangplank, it doesn't take long. And that last little bit of action, that's the real key boom, right? Mm. And so this is where I want you to notice things. So back when I made good money but worked a lot of hours, and back when I didn't make good money and worked a lot of hours, I drank coffee. Yeah. Now, both of those times, I drank a lot of like 7-Eleven coffee, right? I'd drink it from the corner cupboard up on the top of West Newton Hill, or I'd drink it, uh, you yeah, know, that was the one when I was a cop. And there was, uh, God, everywhere you go, there's a 7-Eleven. Mm. So whenever I was in sales, I mean, 7-Eleven, 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 know the coffee very well. So driver's seat, right? Shit car, driver's seat, 7-Eleven coffee stuck in traffic going to have to deal with the boss like someone named daniel right <laughs> daniel right but here's the thing guys aims chair or hot tub my coffee right but i drink coffee yeah great question joe i will bring that up so yeah my coffee my hot tub or chair probably made while flirting with my girl right looking forward to talking with you guys chatting with you guys something like that right there's what i want you to imagine one sip of coffee hmm. yeah i'm going to type back to sizzle one sip of coffee no one i'm going to type to you no one i'm going to chat with you right and that's it that's the imaginal experience you get there's an outer component of it yep coffee you know what it smells like you know what it tastes like so, Mr. 20, how would I imagine making 80 grand a year if I didn't ever make 80 grand a year? You drink coffee, right? How would you experience coffee making 80 grand a year, right? But let's take all this and run with the four, what do we call it? The four, the four mighty, mighty ones. ones. Ready? Okay. Who is the first mighty one, Victoria? The oh, the producer. The producer, yes. right? The producer sets the stage. We talked about with the producer what's lacking on the stage, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're drinking coffee, making 80 grand a year, what's lacking? Sitting in traffic, feeling that oof, you know, fuck it, man, drinking it from a goddamn sippy cup versus like a quality, feel it real fun mug. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Boom. Mm -hmm. What's different? What's lacking? You, know, you can start to drop some of that. What's lacking? Oh, I'm going to be stuck in the car and I'm going to run out of coffee or it's going to get cold. Yeah, or... I think anxiousness in my belly, that's definitely lacking. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. There's the producer. So we just get to notice, what's the general thing that I want? Oh, yeah, 80 grand. What would be different with my time? What would be different with that whole coffee thing? Just sort of letting it be real general at first and just notice what would I lack if I was making 80 grand a year? Hmm. You probably drink coffee and not worry about, do I have enough 
for coffee and a donut. No, and you'd probably buy your coffee at a different shop yeah, rather or, than a 7-Eleven. Yeah, or at home. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's all fun. Yeah. Second one, Victoria. Is the author. The author really nails that final scene. Final scene, notice what Neville shared. Each time my mind wondered. He's telling you about his experience. I brought it back again until he reached the top of the gangplank where it turned nostalgic feeling, right? Here's the cool thing. If you're imagining something that you're fond of, that you've experienced, right, coffee, your mind's not going to wonder all that much. You notice what happens whenever your mind wonders and you're drinking coffee? You take another sip. You sort of naturally, automatically come back to it. You got it? Whatever you're imagining, mm -hmm. let it be something that you can naturally just come back to. Because people, their mind will wonder, oh yeah, and they'll go back to the coffee. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Right? Yeah. Cool. There's a reason why I design goofy things the way I do. I hadn't thought right? of that. <laughs> and then I watch other people try to teach them. It's like, oh, you're stealing my shit, not doing it completely. Right? So, mm -hmm. can I have that? Yep. Cool. What's next, Victoria? The director. Slash and stab. Right? Never Notice Neville said that. But he also, he created a scene that he couldn't help return to. That feeling of nostalgia. That feeling of, what was the exact word he yeah, used Yeah, nostalgia. nostalgia. Yeah. yeah. That feeling of nostalgia, right? I mean, like, I, I can honestly take a sip of coffee and remember Bob's Diner whenever I'd hang out with the other sales guys. You know, I did a podcast or two on this. And it's like, yeah, I can look back at, like, yeah, that was the first time I really made good money. But it was also the first time I made good money working, like, 12 hours a day. Mm. Right? Not a fan of that. Yeah, right. Got it? But I can look at that with nostalgia. You get where you can play with some of this stuff? So, slash and stab, if I, yeah, again, I find with the coffee game, it's hard to let the mind wonder. But if it does, just bring it back. Oh. Hmm. Got it? And what's that final thing, Victoria? The actor. Yeah, you're actually, at, you're actually experiencing it in consciousness. Right? You're yeah. not making a movie of you drinking coffee that implies, and you can see your mansion in the background, you know. This is about your experience, right? And I just like that whole thing with coffee because, like, really, there's there's such a visceral core. Oh, no, but going down, the smell and the taste all going down, feeling it going down to the belly. Yum, yum, mm. yum. Now, Joe jumping, Joe Triple D jumping, jumping, <coughs> jumping, Joe Welton asks, can you actually drink coffee while doing the coffee game? Absolutely. Now, here's the cool thing, right? What, what I find is really fascinating, when I anchor in a typical event, event of my day as my imaginal act, experiencing it differently, right? Again, watch this. This is really cool shit. I'll be drinking my coffee, pondering this new thing that we're working on, which is exponentially bigger and more fun, right? Doing mm -hmm. some different shit. And you know when I think about it often? When I'm sipping coffee. Because I've mm -hmm. done my imaginal act as crushing it with this new, new project we're putting together. Right, mm. and so as as I as I imagine, what's it like to, to have a sip of coffee with this project, get just crushing it? In other words, when I get up in the morning and I check in on it, and I can see what's been going on overnight and who's been doing what and all this cool shit, what the conversations are, and I just imagine my delight. Get it? Yeah, like nostalgia, my internal delight at looking at my crew doing their things, going damn, right? Mm -hmm. And so when I actually have a physical sip of coffee, where does it take me? You got it? So different than, you know, if I doubled my income and worked half the time, I'd go out and I'd buy me a Rolex every week. And you don't even know where the Rolex fucking shop is, and they wouldn't let you in with the way you dress. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Compared to, uh, right, you know. We bought, uh, you know, it's funny. We, we bought three bottles of wine this morning, Right. When we left, Victoria said they didn't have any of the really good wine deals. So she bought you know, three bottles that, I'm, that I've seen her buy before. They weren't the cheapest. They weren't the most expensive. Mm. But not once is there the thought of, how much were they? Can we afford it? Mm. Right? Like, none of that dumb shit. You got mm. it? So if you bought wine every day and you're worried every day, can I afford it? Do they got... Again, watch this. Another quick example of taking a typical event. Back when I was poor, I needed to buy... The cheap meat i needed it i couldn't afford meat that was full price right what did we do today victoria yeah we changed our 
our weekly meal plan. <laughs> we changed the meal plan, guys. <laughs> because right? we found these fantastic. Well, we had lamb chops yesterday. We we're loving them so much. We, we had and we lamb. We found another pack. <laughs> yeah, and, and they're the ones that are like the Flintstone little thing he does, right? Where the, the bun goes this way, the lamb cutlets, gorgeous. right? Yeah. They're gorgeous, right? And for yeah. some reason, they've got a pack on sale that's dated today that they need to be used by. I look at the pack and it's like they've got two, three more days on them. Easy, right? Yeah. It's prime meat and it's 50% off. It's like yeah. $40 worth of meat, 35 bucks worth of meat for $17. Yeah. Right? Now it's my game. Yeah. You get it? Had another level to this whole thing where there's a war in your life at your current level, at your chosen level, what would imply that you've changed? That war became a game. I always have this game on to get top shelf things at bottom shelf prices. It's just what I do. You got it? Mm. So not only can things change in process, how you experience the coffee, change in content, where do you experience the coffee instead of in the car, right? It's in my chair. But also, it could change from, from a war to a game, right? And if you find that intriguing, wargamedance.com. Yeah. Those six hours of recordings, I think they're 27 bucks or something ridiculous, mm. right? Totally rock your world. Because so many people, they're living at war, trying to feel it real, and they could move to what we call the levels of game and dance. Talking about that in five minutes is impossible. Uh, we explored that for like over six hours, right? So mm -hmm. wargamedance.com if you want to explore that journey, right? Really cool. <coughs> so manifesting 80 grand a year income, right? Piece of cake. Just take a typical event of your day. How would you experience it differently, both in content and in process, right? If you got another way to do it, you can do it with a war, to, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, let it be this simple, gang. Let it be this simple, because you know what a sip of coffee is like. Hmm. So, hmm. what do you reckon, Victoria? We cover all that pretty well? Yeah, I think you did. And I love especially that word surrender with the actor. Hmm. Um, I don't know that you actually, I know you mentioned you know, experience, I didn't, but yeah, yeah. I didn't mention it today. When you take a sip of coffee, right? Again, this is a, when people, you can tell when people are still at war, they love words like persist, right? <laughs> you have to persist in your imaginal act. Whenever 3D bumps you out, you've got to kick it in the fucking Jimmy and persist. <laughs> so, yeah, you really get, I'm not into that. No. Right. On the other hand, surrender. Anyone ever here ever drink a sip of coffee? That's what it's all oh. about. Exactly. Yeah. Boom. Right? And then my mother told me, I am so proud that you are a gazillion. Oh, fuck, man. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Kick it in the gym, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right, sizzle. <laughs> Cool. So, yeah, surrender, absorption. Yeah. And, and we've got uh, some playlists. We'll put these in the show notes. Always look at the show notes if you're watching this on the YouTube or the refunds or whatever. Yeah. So we've got the Four Mighty Ones series, and we've got the Syncreation Secrets off of action. Check them out. And mm. for bonus points, remember your scene's more like a GIF than a movie. But more on that some other time. <laughs> Boom. There you go. <laughs> so, Victoria, yes. anything you want to add in? No. What are you? Look at your smile. You're a goofpot. <laughs> so, what we want to know is, what was the strawberry bit? What was? What was your strawberry bit, babe? Wow, my strawberry bit. You know, it's funny because the more I dive into something as simple as the coffee game, yeah, you know, the more I really discover it's always imaginal experience that changes physical experience. And and that isn't ready, Victoria. Hmm. How would you feel if you made eighty grand a year? <laughs> By the way, I'd be goddamn terrified, right? Because if if my income dropped to eighty fucking grand a year, yeah. I'd be like Jesus yeah. fucking Christ! What the fuck did we do wrong? <laughs> yeah, you got it. Yeah. But here's the thing: if you double your income, work at the time. Double your income, work at the time. Double your income, work at the time again. Divorce time from dollars, mm. right? How would you experience coffee different? Happy. No, it wouldn't be that. You would yeah. experience, we, we went to the shops today. I had to blow Yasmin Maxwell off to get back for the show. Right? Mm. The show. Yeah. Because if we worked jobs, we would never see her. We wouldn't probably even know her. Right? No, yeah, right. <laughs> right? Yeah. But instead, we don't work. Right? Would you hire us to work? <laughs> no. <laughs> really? Yeah, hire me to work in your organization. Right? <laughs> 
Yeah. Thank you for calling <laughs> Sizzle's organization. <laughs> yeah, they'll yeah. be calling back all the time to talk to me. So that yeah. was my favorite bit, Victoria. My strawberry bit is how a few bit. times you've done, um, you've pulled in those four states from the four mighty ones, yep. like the producer, producer, director, producer, author, director, actor. I yep. love that. Otherwise known as Pata. Somebody's going to type that in there somewhere. Oh, yeah. So they're going to, Pata, use the Pata method. I made up the Pata method. But I really like that. So that's my strawberry bit. Boom. Yeah. Really, this is a sweet little formula, guys. All right. Really, really sweet. Again, what's that whole general thing? Wow. Remember, just think about this. The producer, okay, if 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 you doubled your income worked half the time, doubled your income worked. I know the eighty thousand was the number, but fuck it, right? Yeah, you know, how would how would the theme of your day change? Uh. Right, get that's the producer. How would the theme of your day change if you got to that income level that you want? Mm. Wow, I mean, wow, right? We go to the dog park. I wave at people going to work. I feel like royalty, right? <laughs> And so yeah. on, right? The author, now that little scene, it's more like a gif than anything. Yeah. The director, if you have a good scene, you're going to notice your mind won't wander a whole bunch. Right? Psst. All right. Mm. Sorry, Victoria, I hijacked your strawberry bit. No, that that was good. And to... interesting you say that, if you have a scene, your mind doesn't wander so much. But they're like even Neville, each time I'm all wondered while he's doing his scene. Yep. But he'd bring it back. He'd keep bringing it back. You betcha. Yeah. Boom. Sizzle waves like okay. that too. Okay. Cool. All right. Sweet so, Vic and Victoria. Yes. Shall we tell them what to do and where to go? Yes. So, All why right. you type your strawberry bits in? Hmm. Go to freenevel.com. Yep. 221 email list. Pseudo random, random goodness. goodness. <laughs> Join our 90 day adventure at manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. Half a donut a day is what it costs you, but what's it cost you not to do it, right? Yeah. You know, I know some people, they try to save money by not buying toilet paper, right? Or they just they just wipe till it changes color, right? <laughs> it's, like, it's, a little oh, li it's a little lighter now. <laughs> yeah, it should be all right. Should, that's enough to get through the day, right? Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> Right, and for refunds, visit our YouTube channel. Oh, sorry, Zuli, we're just Zuli, going. Zuli, triple D, yo. Yeah, for refunds, visit our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. Yeah, putting new fun things up there too, like yeah. little one-minute things. I've got yes. a whole new thing I'm you doing You didn't with show it to me in the end last night. I didn't. Yeah. I will. On the big screen. The big screen. <laughs> cool. All right. Excellent, you guys. Love you, Victoria. Love you, babe. Have a lovely day, everyone. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow when we come back with part three of...